Hello, hello. It is day 275 of from here to Jerusalem. So I arrived on day 273 and um, I had a bit of a scary, uh, uh, scary experience uh, coming under the railway through a tunnel of 100 meters. I, sometimes I'm not really clever, like I could have, uh, I could, I could have, you know, gone where all the people were standing waiting for the train and instead I decided to stick to what was on the map. I arrive, I walk down like I was filming and it is like a hundred meters of dark. I don't like being underneath, underneath the ground in the darkness. I put on uh, the light on my phone, <sighs> did the 100 meters, did as much deep breathing as I could, made it to the other side and was not a happy bunny. Then the second thing is that day as well, I had to cross the Sava. I'm, I'm on, on I, I decided to take the middle bridge because it's the shortest route. I take the bridge. And this bridge is shaking, but not shaking, shaking. It is shaking, shaking, shaking. Oh, and I'm standing there in the slippery snow thinking, I don't, I don't want to be here. I just want to have the beautiful view. I want to see all the beautiful things, but I don't want to be standing here like thinking my legs are going to give way. Then I, at the end of the day, I arrive at where I'm going to stay and there is a lift. And this lift is like creaking and shaking and it's I have to go to the sixth floor. So I had a day full of really scary, scary moments. That is, that has been a while. And it, you know, I, I was thinking, how bizarre, right? Because I'm out here far, far, far away from home. I walked over three and a half thousand kilometers, probably closer to four thousand kilometers to get here. And I'm totally freaked out by being on the ground, being on a bridge, like you know, those bridges with the open crates underneath. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. So yesterday I arrived, I'm staying with a guy called Musa. <coughs> Lovely, lovely young man uh, for two nights. So I slept there uh, yesterday. That's all I did. I went over there, uh, had some coffee in the morning, went over there. We had dinner. Really nice guy. But, you know, uh, he's, he's very young. He went out clubbing last night. I'm just so tired. I am really, really tired really tired and I still have the issue about the route um, so I want I want to talk about it and I want to I want to try and explain what the issue is but what I really want is I want to go somewhere where I can just sleep for a day or two so I'm in two minds now as to will I just apply I I still haven't gone to the Franciscans I would like to go and see the Franciscan friars and have a chat with them as well about you know what my what the possibilities are of getting some support from um, maybe church institutions or, or monasteries and if that is possible at here here at all because in in uh, in Hungary that really didn't work for me at all and I'm also thinking that maybe I should just do what I've been doing for the you know go and visit them anyway maybe ask for chat but also then because I just I just need to sleep I can try and like I send out like five or six messages 
for uh, couch surfing but there is not much coming back like I think that I'm I'm so far out of the out of the loop that uh, I don't know so I I'm like listen to me listen to me dithering here like I'm just dithering 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 so today I uh, Today, I d yesterday, I just edited. Uh, we we sat there at the table. Musa was working. I was editing. Uh, I'm caught up with the editing. I'm feeling good about that. I caught up with some people at home, and I just I wasn't able to do any more. Like, just so tired. <sighs> I just need to rest. I think I've been putting off the resting for a good while now you know Vienna was the last time I really took a week off yes I, I rested in Novi Sad and, but I was there with people so I'm thinking and my in, inside is kind of going like maybe I should just take a few days and disappear and just be inside and set out to try and figure out what the route is because this is the biggest issue I'm having where am I gonna go from here like I've been I've been saying this over and over and over. From from here, where do I go? Do I keep following the river? Do I head east? Do I head south? The information is like the one says this, the other says that. And like and I know I said the other day the only good advice you can take is your own. I have to make this decision and live with whatever that decision means uh, today I got a message from a lady and she was saying oh you know Bulgaria I should really stop for a month or two not go on and uh, just stop walking for a month or two and wait out the winter my gut straight away goes like no that's a really bad idea because I'll lose the momentum like, there is absolutely no reason for me to stop and lose the momentum. That's a really bad idea. So I want to keep going. Can I go east then? Or will, will the weather stop me? She's got a point about the weather. Like, if the weather really, really changes and the... the the temperatures go down which can happen in this part of the world like I'm landlocked it's uh, the middle of Europe there you could get like these winds from the east <sighs> but what is it about right I understand that people have these worries about the about the practicalities and the other day, like, look what happened. Like, the temperature came down with 15 degrees overnight. And it went from, like, balmy, balmy, beautiful spring weather to snow. And, okay, it wasn't freezing, but it was a temperature drop of 15 degrees. That can happen from zero to minus 15 as well. But what do I believe? Like, what am I doing? Am I, like, you know, I was... So... Today I met with one of the uh, couch surfing hosts who went like, if there's an emergency, he will put me up. He's my own age, lovely man, Boba. I'm meeting him again tomorrow. He, uh, we, we, he took me to uh, an evening prayer in the or in an Orthodox church here, and then he went to work out with his daughter. We went, we went for a bit of dinner. Uh, we had a really good chat and. Uh, you know, I'm telling him the stories of the of the pilgrimages, and he's going, yeah. And I'm I'm answering my own questions, like, what is it about? It's about it's about this uh, ability to to trust in the process, right? I ended up here at this time of the year. Uh, I understand that people are concerned. I'm concerned. But can I do this, yes or no? Is it important? Open heart, open mind. If it's important, the road will open before me. So I want time to sit with the maps, draw up two of the, the, the routes, I think, 
I think the northern route going back up uh, along the river is a bad idea. Uh, that is, it is the wrong time of year for that. So that leaves me with two routes. One is the route east. Uh, that would mean I would go along the river a tiny bit and then I head down and go to Nish. And from Nish I would have to cross over the hills, pretty high hills, to Sofia. Can I find a route where the stages are short enough for me not to get into trouble if the weather changes? If I have two more weeks to go there, then I would be over the border. And can I get then from Sofia further into the country when the stages are getting longer? And can I do that in a safe manner? The other route would have me go south. I keep saying that I, that's not what I want to do. I don't think it's what I want to do because I think that uh, the issue with going south is, is that it's a long way around. I want to go to Edirne, I want to take the shortest route towards Turkey. Shortest route towards Turkey is, is head towards Edirne that goes through Bulgaria. And one thing I do agree with with this lady from Bulgaria, the original route to Jerusalem always went through Bulgaria. She is saying like a lot has changed through the pandemic and history and whatnot, uh, and the, the idea of what is happening in the churches and stuff, and that it may not be the friendliest route. But on the other hand, like, I made it through. I made it through an area where there was very little help, you know. Uh, when the help was there, it was very good. And when the help was not there, it, that was most of the time. And we still got through. What to, what to do, what to do, and I just cannot make up my mind. So I need a bit more time. I need a tiny, tiny bit more time, like two, three days maybe, and really sit with the maps and just make, make up my mind. So I'm gonna go upstairs now. Uh, and, and try and figure this out. Like, uh, I have some time because I've done most of the, the the work that I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't done any social media either. Like, this, this pilgrim alert takes up a lot of time and energy. Like, it really does. <sighs> what to do, right? So, and then today I went to meet Bobbin. Um, and he took me to... Um, what he called the forbidden, first he said forget, forbidden bridge, and then he said, no, actually, uh, the forgotten bridge. And it's an old railway line, which is not being used anymore, uh, because uh, the, the, something in the, the uh, they didn't work anyway. <sighs> it, uh, and he just walks over it. And uh, this again, like, this is the thing. I am no hero. I am definitely no hero. Uh, I was looking at this going, I don't know how you can walk over just, you know, the wooden parts of an old railway bridge with the rails not being there and there is nothing underneath there. Like one misstep and you, you're, you're like, and I don't like heights. And, he went like, oh, go on, try it, like, try it. And I'm really chicken, like, I'm really chicken. I like my feet on the ground. I, I don't know how many times I have to tell myself and other people this. I like my feet on the ground. But this is it, like, am I avoiding the hard bit? Am I trying to avoid it? Am I in denial? Am I, am I just not able for this? Should I go on? Should I rest? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But I'm going to find out. Of course, I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to give up. And I'm... <sighs> he, you know, there is the question of do I go... If I go south. If I go south, I would go to Kosovo. 
And depending on who you speak to, people say like, don't go to Kosovo. And then other people say like, do go. And others say, don't go. So which one is it? Like, is it okay to go there or is it not okay to go there? And I just cannot get a proper answer. Like, I can't get a straight answer from anybody. So I don't, I don't... I think the answer is, give it a bit more time. I think that the... Uh, I've just been so focused on the moving and moving forward and moving forward and moving on and moving forward. And maybe I should just sit down for a few days and just sit with those maps, not move, not do anything. And I'm still caught then with the question, where will I do that? Will I send out some uh, requests for, uh, uh, requests to, uh, <laughs> to, to, uh, to couch surfing house? Or do I, do I just book a cheap room and just sit there? And even that I can't seem to be making up my mind about. So I think the best plan is to go see the Franciscans tomorrow, ask them if I can be there for two nights. And uh, meet with Bobbin if I can tomorrow. If they say yes, then I, I can just rest, go to evening prayer, morning prayer, uh, hang out with them. And if they say no, book myself a room or put in a few more requests and see what comes back. But if I if I wait with sending out the requests until tomorrow, then I have the I have the thing where, you know, I'm wasting a day waiting around, waiting for answers. I don't think that's a good idea idea either. So I I need to make up my mind about this tonight. And uh, I'm going to see, can I get some uh, healthy food for my host and myself right now? And then I'm going to go back to the room. Listen, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, and uh, thank you for, for being there, watching these rants and stuff. And I'll try and go see something of the city. And uh, yeah, what do you think? Like... Ah, oh, talk to you soon. See you soon.